Hi everybody, it's Cheryl. Cheryl's Creations. Happy, happy, happy crochet day. Um, in reality, it, this is Friday the, I think it's the 7th of July. Um, I'm not sure when you'll see this video. I'm actually doing like three different videos today. So you will see me in the same shirt several different times. So, uh, <laughs> I hope you all had um, a wonderful and safe 4th of July. Um, some fireworks, some independence, some relaxing. Hope it all went well. So, um, I chilled in my chair and worked on some projects and, you know, got as much done as I could. So, because um, I do have... Uh, a market tomorrow on Saturday and in fact here in a little while I'm going to go set up my tables um, so that I don't have to put them in my car right away. Um, makes my car a little full so a friend of mine are, and I are going to go set up our the big items and then we'll take our our other stuff later. So so what have I finished? Ay ay ay. Um cows milk cows my hair is sticking up my hair is always sticking up um yeah so one of the things i did this week is i did two of the chubby milky cows okay now i didn't do the last time i did these i did the little handbags the chocolate chip and for a black and white one, I did an Oreo, um, but I didn't do that this time. Um, I just wasn't thinking about it. I do want to do more of these um, for some things coming up. Um, you know, they talk about doing a strawberry cow, chocolate cow, chocolate chip cow. Um, you know, I could do one with yellow and make it a banana cow, you know, all kinds of things. So, um, so I have done this before. Um, it is by, uh, at rin.meow21. Oops, there it is. Chubby milk cow. Oops, that's not the right side. Leave it to me that I can't find it. There it is. Hopefully you could read that. I will put that information down below. Um, <clears throat> this is a really easy pattern and it worked up very quick. Um, and the, the, the one thing I didn't, well, yeah, I did do the horns. This is not the one I didn't do horns. So, um, now the last time I did these, they came out a little smaller. So my only guess is that I used a smaller hook. Um, this time I used a six and a half millimeter and here they are. So you can kind of see how big it is. This is the black and white one. And I did put a little pink in there for his nostrils. Okay. Um, I did a knot type tail instead of a, a frayed tail because I didn't want it to, to keep fraying, um, with the, this, um, so this is the white I know is Big Twist uh, from Big Twist Blanket from Joann's. Um, I think the black is the same. Um, this grayish color, brownish gray that I used for the horns is a Bernat. I can't tell you the name of it. it the, the, the ball band is long gone. I have no idea where it is. Um, so... Um, so yeah, there's a, there's the black and white one. And then I did a cream and brown. Um, so, um, I probably could have put his nose up a little farther, maybe up another row. And it's a little crooked. You know, my, my characters always have character because things just uh, does, don't always get sewed on straight. So, um, but here's the, the cream one. Um, 
both of these are Bernat uh, blanket um, colors um, because I don't think I had those colors in Big Twist. So um, I'm on the, one of the things I'm starting to do is I'm looking at other other companies for blanket yarns and you know I pretty much have what Joanne had Joanne Fabrics has so I have the Bernat and I have the Big Twist um well and I have the Bernat um the one that fades from it's the baby uh it's a baby one but um I've been looking at I've been watching other folks that do the blanket yarn, use them. Um, I've been looking at some of the Premier. I've been looking at some of it um, that comes from Michael's, trying to figure out, you know, with coupons, without coupons, which ones have the best uh, price. So if you have any feedback on what you get as the best deal for the plush or the blankets and where you get it from, let me know because I'm looking to, to branch out, you know, color wise. Um, I know um, I get the big balls like this, you know, the big ones. Um, I know one of the companies, and I can't remember which one it is right now, does a smaller version um, that instead of a 10 ounce, it's more of a five or a six ounce. Um, easier to manage I don't know um, but if you have any if you have any feedback on what you like best as a blanket yarn I'd sure like to know um, sometimes I think the Bernat is too thick for what I want to do um, but I don't want something super thin um, you know so let me know um, I'd love to Love to hear um, you know what you like and what you don't like because um, I still do the majority of my uh, amigurumis is still done in um, four weight acrylic. I like the four weight acrylic because I can do so much more detail with that um, than with some of the blanket but I like what the blanket does too. So um, I usually try and I'm trying to get a good mixture of both types of products, um, you know, when I go to markets and sales um, and even on my website um, for people to choose from and, you know, if they want to purchase something from the site instead of, you know, whatever, and I do shipping and all of that. So, um, I, I just have I just have my information on Facebook um, at Cheryl's Creations Shop. It's a Facebook group. Um, you know, anybody can pretty much um, join. They just have to, to click join. Um, and they can see what items I have in stock, what items. I'm going to set up a order only file that has pieces that I've done that I probably wouldn't keep on hand, but they're great for custom orders. And so um, hopefully next week I'll have that transition made uh, for that. But, um, you know, when I finish a bunch of stuff, I post them and say, you know, these are in stock, um, you know, and, and what their prices are. I've got to decide what to sell these for. I think they're going to be a good 20 bucks. So, so anyway, those are my two cows that I finished. I need to do some pigs. We're a farming community. We have lots of pigs. We have a pork plant at the edge of town. I need to do pigs. So that'll be coming up. Maybe next week I'll do pigs. I don't have time this week to do pigs. So, all right. Um, thanks for joining. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, I hope you have a fantastic day. Um, be creative. Crochet way. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.